everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and a new episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight we've got something that's delicious and hearty and stick to your ribs. Classic beef barley soup. Perfect for this first super cold winter night of the year this season. I'm so excited. Let's go see how we make this. Okay, we're just gonna go over all the ingredients as I put them in the crock pot and get ready to make this really easy beef and barley soup for dinner. Um, I made beef and barley soup quite some time ago. The video is kind of crappy. So in an effort to remake those and maybe introduce folks who haven't seen that video to my beef barley soup, we're just gonna move forward and do that today. So what I have in the vessel of my slow cooker is about two pounds of beef stew meat. I've not done anything to it except throw it in there. You can break it down further, cut it into smaller chunks, but I really feel like it isn't necessary because we're gonna slow cook this for a really long period of time and that meat is going to eventually fall apart and be exactly the way you want it in the first place. So, just stick it in there. Some people choose to brown this with a little oil and dredge it in a little flour. We're going the quick route today. What I have here is four cups of beef and mushroom stock. Now I have used my better than bouillon. I have four cups of very hot water to which I have added a tablespoon each of the mushroom base and the roasted beef base. I love these because they're quick and easy and they afford me the ability to have fresh stock anytime I want it. They have not sponsored this video. I just really like this product. So I have four cups of stock. It is a highly concentrated stock. I have added more to it per cup than it's called for because we are going to add more water to the vessel when we're finished. I have about four carrots that I have scrubbed and sliced into coins. I have about 16 ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms. I have one large onion that I have diced. I have two to three cloves of garlic. This is my prepared garlic, so it's about two tablespoons worth. I have one 15 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes and then I don't have any fresh celery on hand, I didn't realize that, so I'm going to be throwing in a handful or about a quarter of a cup of my dehydrated celery. If you have fresh celery, please use about a cup, a cup and a half of fresh celery. Just toss it all in there. That's all we're going to do. We're going to toss everything in. And our tomatoes. Our onions. Starving kitty. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead and add some of our dehydrated celery. Remember, it's oh, dehydrated. It does smell good, doesn't it? Smells so good. But remember, dehydrated vegetables are highly concentrated, so you want to make sure that you don't overdo it, otherwise it'll taste like celery soup. And in here, I have a teaspoon each of uh, dried marjoram, dried oregano, and a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. All of these flavors go very well with beef. And that's it, because we don't put the barley in until later. I'm going to let this cook for a good long time. Put our broth in there, beef stock. Make sure you get all that goodness. Sometimes it doesn't like to um, dissolve, but make sure you get that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little more water. So let me go grab that. All right, I've got about four more cups of water. And yeah, it's hot water, but you can use whatever you like. Give this a good stir. Now, you'll notice I didn't add any salt or pepper to this because we're going to be slow cooking this all day long. We're going to add salt and pepper later. The um, concentrated stock has a bit of salt to it, so we don't want to add salt because as this cooks, it's going to season the meat. The meat's also going to release some of its juices and, and it's going to flavor all of this liquid. So because this is soup, we don't want to be too thick. But um, later on, we'll also be adding a cup 
of pearl barley. This is not quick barley. This is regular old fashioned pearl barley. We're going to add this about an hour to an hour and a half before we're ready to eat. I'll be back and I'll show you how we add that when it's time to do that. But for now, I'm simply going to put the lid on this, set it in the sleeve on high, and we're going to cook this for about six hours before we add our barley. So I'll be back when it's time to do that. All right. This has been almost six hours. We started this around... 12 30 this afternoon and it is now 5 30 so it's been 11 it's been six hours Thank it's been five hours pardon me so it's the meat is nice and soft i already took a piece out and tested it every all the veggies are just great the broth is rich and delicious there's very little fat in here and i have to tell you i can't wait for dinner okay. so what i have here is about a cup and a half of regular pearled barley and I'm just going to pop that in there, give it a good stir. Now you're going to leave it on high and you're going to let this cook for 45 minutes to an hour until that barley gets nice and plump and your soup will be ready to serve. So when we come back, we'll fix you a bowl of this delicious beef barley soup from the slow cooker. All right, it has been about an hour and a half since we put the bro broccoli, the barley in here, and it's perfect. You see how nice that um, barley has plumped up, and it's made this brothy soup into a thick and rich, hearty meal. Perfect for this, the most amazing cold day we have had all year long, and I'm so excited. We actually had a few snow flurries not too long ago, so... It's going to get down below freezing tonight, and I knew that, so I wanted to make a nice big pot of soup for dinner. This beef barley soup is just going to hit the spot. It's going to warm everybody up from the inside out, and we're going to have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. So let's go over to the counter, and I'll show you what this looks like, and we'll have Rick give it a taste. Okay, here we go. All dished up and ready for a nice, warm, filling dinner. Beef barley soup. One of my favorites ever in my life. So my nanny used to make this. My nanny also used to make a chicken barley soup that was to die for. And I will share that with you another time. Because I feel like I really need to have that here soon too. I love barley. I think it's a grain that doesn't get used often enough. You can see I always have a two-quart jar of it full on my can rotator. I reach for it often, especially this time of year. Barley is great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can use it. You can toast it. You can add it to pilaf soups. You can cook it up and add it to salads. You can use it like breakfast cereal. Barley's awesome. Are you ready to try? Mm -hmm. I have to. You have to. The people want to know. Yeah. That's delicious. Yes, it is. And of course, at this point, everyone can season their own serving. I did not add any extra salt or pepper to this. I'm Doesn't going to it. I'm going to add pepper to my serving and probably a little bit of salt cuz I like the salt. Mm. I know. Um, so there you have it. Delicious slow cooked beef barley soup. I hope that you give it a try and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. And until next time, I'll see ya joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!